Hello there everyone and welcome to something I haven't really done. I mean I do these occasionally but I really want to start doing them more just keep you guys in the loop. For those of you who don't follow me on social media and don't worry this isn't going to be me pressuring you into following there for news and updates and stuff because I can see why you wouldn't so that's okay. Um, so yeah if you follow me on social media this will mostly be stuff you already know there is a few new things so don't worry you know it's it's you can still watch the video and that stuff um but yes i've decided that i should do monthly update videos on what's happening with my channel life too i guess um so yes november is here and uh as november starts uh last weekend i just beat bayonetta 2 so the Let's Play of that is basically done. It will be uploaded, like, I mean, it's still being uploaded, but there might be a few more videos depending on some of the stuff my people might say from the last two or so if they want to see some extra stuff. Uh, but for now, uh, Bane Attitude 2 is a completed Let's Play. Um, in addition, Metal Gear Solid 5, for the sheer fact that I've been putting up videos and they've been getting, on average, 20 views, I'm calling that one closed as well. Today I put up what will be the last video. Um, and I think it's just interesting that it's probably just perceived as not content I would normally put up on my channel, being a more of a shooter game, you know, just the way it's structured. Um, and I understand people not watching it, I truly do. Um, that said, replacing those LPs will be, um, okay, first off, coming up on the 7th of November, otherwise known among some circles as N7 Day, I will actually be starting a special Let's Play project to get through all of the Mass Effect games. Yeah. So, this is actually, it came up out of a request from a friend, and it's important for not only me, but also them. So, uh, uh, starting the 7th, actually, I have a week off school. So the 7th is a Saturday. I have a whole week off, and then, you know, I have that weekend too. Um, so I'm hoping to get through at least Mass Effect 1. Um, note, this will be my first time playing Mass Effect 1. I did play Mass Effect 2 a bit, I didn't beat it, and my first time playing Mass Effect 3. What this is for, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say what it is just yet. Um, I've hinted at it, but otherwise, uh, if I get the go-ahead, I'll straight up tell you what it is. If not, let's just say... I don't even know if what I'm allowed to say, actually, but, you know, so just look forward to that. Um, I'll actually be streaming it. Um, I did a test, test recording method on, um with Kingdom Hearts this last Sunday where I decided to, like I just tried a new setup where I record it and my Let's Play goes up but the footage that gets recorded is raw and saved on my computer so that might be a bit of a hint as to what this might be for um, so yes, Mass Effect and of course, as some of you may be aware I, uh, I did work at Bioware for a summer, so I might have a few, you know, Bioware stories, nothing amazing, I didn't actually work on anything uh, Mass Effect related, but I do have stuff to talk about just with Bioware in general. Um, and yeah, so look forward to that. After that, because, you know, just how timing of, of uploads goes, um, I am going to be starting my next Let's Play, and this one is actually kind of also another similar situation but it's uh it's a little different because this one is entirely for me and i can say what it is basically i'm going to be starting a playthrough of katawa shoujo which is a visual novel type game dating sim made by 4chan where you basically date disabled girls now you might be saying yo that sounds like it could go very wrong it's very well done um, it's very classy. It is handles the subject wonderfully. Um, and the reason for this is I'm actually doing a school project on the history... The, no, I, I say the rise of visual novels in the Western world. So I played that game when it first came out long, long ago. 
Um, and it's, I've only did one playthrough of it. I know some people said, oh, I got every ending, and I'm like, wow, how? Because it might have been the fact that I went for my first playthrough with Rin, you know, the, the armless painter girl, um, who apparently is the only, it's like the, it's the ending people hate. And the one that they're like, this is the worst thing. And I can see why. Because it's not a happy ending per se. It's a very ambiguous ending. So, basically, I'm going to have a poll asking you guys to vote on who I should pursue in that title. Now, as I've done Rin's playthrough, she will be off limits. Because not only is hers the outlier in terms of how it, you know, the tone and stuff, um... And it just isn't that much of a fun time, honestly. Like, I enjoyed reading it, but reading it n in a different way than what the, the idea of my project is. So, um, I've included in the description below a link to the profiles of the characters, and there will be a poll, a straw poll in there as well. I'm using straw poll because that's what everyone uses and it's easiest to track and stuff. Um, but yes, so that one will be a Let's Play starting... I'm gonna be recording it soon. Uploading it might be a little later, but for sure, um, I'm gonna basically, basically what it is, I'm gonna replay it to, um, to reacquaint myself with it, because one of the things I'm doing is, is a, a case study of a couple games and their reception, so I'm gonna be looking at, um, Ace Attorney, the series, um, Kato Shoujo, and then the Hate series, which a lot of people know I did a Let's Play of Analog A Hate Story, and then started one of Hate Plus, but it's been so long now, and it was just like recording stuff came up that I don't think it'd be worth it to continue. Plus, honestly, I feel bad because of the fact that, like, with a visual novel, you could just watch my Let's Play and you don't get, you get the whole game, basically. You know, it's not like a game that when you play it, you can, you know, there's still more stuff to find and stuff. It's like, I actually did start to feel bad. I'm like, you know, I'm kind of letting people pirate it by just watching it. So, I honestly decided to, to just say, hey, you know, let's, let's let people have to pay for it, because, uh, I, Christine Love, she's a great game developer, Canadian too, I should support her, and, uh, yeah, so there, there's that explanation, in case you're wondering where that went, um, and on that note, November's looking to be an interesting month, I actually did have to cancel my pre-order of, uh, Amiibo Party, because of the, the Animal Crossing game. Mostly because I'm just, you know... Money for me is weird. Um, like, I do get decent amounts... Of, oh god, I'm not even gonna get into the YouTube Red stuff. If we get paid for it, I'm fine. If not, we don't. And it's like, whatever, I'll just have to not buy games that month. Um, so that's that's not happening. Uh, no, uh, Well, my friend is getting Amiibo Party, so we might just come over and play it. Um, so there's that... And then, um, oh right, I just got, um, in, in a crazy stroke of luck, um, one of my friends, Sonic Yoda, on Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff, uh, he was just talking about how, um, how he enjoyed, he played through Shenmue 2, or sh is it Shenmue? It's Shenmue, I always say Shenmue, but it's Shenmue 2, and, uh, he said he loved it, it was actually one of his, he said it was a wonderful experience. And so then I was saying, like, man, I need those games so much because I back Shenmue, th or Shenmue 3, sorry. Um, but I haven't played the first two yet. And I'm like, yeah, I need to, I need to, you know, learn the story. So I just browsed Amazon, and lo and behold, they had Shenmue 1 for $50. Uh, no manual, but the full case, all four discs, and Shenmue 2 for 20 with both Shenmue to the disc and it's the xbox version which is fine because i have an original xbox and they say it works it doesn't work well in the 360 but since i have an original xbox it should be fine um so yeah shenmue 2 plus shenmue the movie a dvd with cutscenes from the first game putting it into a movie which i love when they do that um so those are very much potential let's play slash streams for the future mostly because like I need to get the story of Shenmue, uh, you know, because I'm ex I back Shenmue 3 because mostly for the legacy of like what it means for people, Sega, you know, the the company, um, Yu Suzuki, all these people, you know, it's like I, it's a big deal. So, uh, you know, I think it's important. Um, and that said, um, look forward to those in the future. 
and not to make this video go to go on too long it's 10 minutes Jesus Christ um that's about it more more personas coming I actually have been able to record quite a bit into the future which is nice uh, Bayonetta 2's done will be uploaded as time goes on Pirate Warriors still gonna keep being uploaded we're about we're mostly done pirate warriors you know it's like we still have characters to go through but once they're all done you know it's like that'll basically be it um i might show off nightmare log mode once if people ask for it um but otherwise thank you all for sticking around guys i cannot even believe i have people who watch my videos and stuff honestly <laughs> i i honestly feel sometimes like i just do them for myself but that's fine i'll see you all later and uh that's what's happening this month so see you then. Ciao.